Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the sum of the following series. Let's get started. First, let's find a formula for the terms of this series. So let's say that this one is our first term denoted by a1, this is a2, this is a3, and so on. So the formula for the nth term of this series Clearly, it is equal to a sub n, which is equal to 2 over n plus 4 times n plus 6. So, for example, if n is equal to 1, so you have here 2 over 1 plus 4, so that is 5, and then 1 plus 6, which is equal to 7. And if n is equal to 2, you'll get here 2 plus 4, which is equal to 6, and then 2 plus 6, which is equal to 8. So this is indeed the formula for the nth term of this series. Now let's do partial fraction decomposition for this uh, rational function. So this rational function can be written as sum of two fractions, some constant over n plus 4 and then plus another constant all over n plus 6. And what is the fastest way to find these constants a and b? We can easily find these constants here using the cover-up technique. So to find A, we're going to cover this uh, denominator here okay, in this expression. So covering this uh, n plus 4 will get the following expression. And we're going to replace the n by the values of n that will make this denominator 0. So that is n equals negative 4. So we'll get here 2 over negative 4 plus 6, which is equal to positive 1. Similarly, we can get the value of b by covering this n plus 6 here, getting this expression 2 over n plus 4, and replacing the n by the value of n that makes this 0, which is n equals negative 6. And we'll get 2 over negative 6 plus 4, which is equal to negative 1. Therefore, we can write our a sub n as 1 over n plus 4 minus 1 over n plus 6. Because of this difference here, it seems that we have a telescoping series. So let's find a formula for the sum of the first n terms of this series. Okay, let a sub n be equal to the sum of the first n terms of uh, this uh, series here, then s sub n can be written as, uh, this is our a sub 1, so using this uh, formula here for a sub n, so we have 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7, plus this is our a sub 2, okay, 1 over 6 minus 1 over 8, and it seems that we need to write more terms to figure out the formula for our s sub n. So let's try to write down the third term, which is 1 over 7 minus 1 over 9. And here we see already that this term here, minus 1 over 7 and plus 1 over 7, cancel out. And a trick in finding a formula for the s sub n of a telescoping series is to write down the terms until consecutive terms in the sum cancel out. So here, negative 1 over 7 and positive 1 over 7 are not consecutive terms. So we still need to write more terms. So if we're going to write down the fourth term of this series, then we see here that negative 7 cancels with positive 1 over 7. Negative 1 over 8 cancels with 1 over 8. And this one here tells you that the sum depends only with these terms. 1 over 5, 1 over 6, negative 1 over 9, and negative 1 over 10. If the formula for s sub n is not yet clear to you after writing these four terms here, then you may write the next term, okay, which is 1 over 9 minus 1 over 11. And you'll see here that, again, 
this cancels negative 1 over 8 and 1 over 8 cancels and then you have negative 1 over 9 and positive 1 over 9 cancels and again our sum depends on these two numbers and these two numbers here so what is our formula for s of n if we're going to continue writing this up to the nth term so we'll have here the a sub n minus 1 and then a sub n okay so what will be the remaining terms in this sum s sub n again this negative 1 over 7 cancels with that 1 over 7 the negative 1 over 8 cancels with this 1 over 8 and then the negative 1 over 9 cancels with is 1 over 9 here and so on and the remaining terms will be this 1 over 5 here and 1 over 6 and then minus 1 over n plus 5 and minus 1 over n plus 6 so we can write our s sub n as 1 over 5 plus 1 over 6 minus 1 over n plus 5 minus 1 over n plus 6 and this sum here can be written as 11 over 30. Therefore, what is the sum of this series? It is equal to the number that is approached by this S sub n as n approaches infinity. So that is also called the limit of this expression as n approaches infinity. And as n approaches infinity, we know that this will approach 0 and also 1 over n plus 6 will approach 0. Therefore, this expression here will approach 11 over 30 as n approaches infinity. And this is the sum of this infinite series. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.